Mike, what is this event all about? Okay, guys. So, um, yung event natin for tonight, uh, essentially, ang focus natin is para sa ating mga students, para sa ating mga recent graduates, and career shifters. No? Um, uh, Siyempre, I know everyone is excited na eventually to join the workforce. No? And uh, uh, usually, maraming anxiety around this. No? So, ang maganda today, especially if you're working in the tech world, maraming options, no? Pwede kang mag, ano, mag uh, corp. That's the traditional one. Pwede kang mag business. Pwede kang mag uh, remote work, no? Yung mga gig, gig economy. Pero one option that you also have is going into the the startup world, no? Um, Siyempre, specifically, mga tech startups kasi yan ang ano ngayon. Um, and personally, no? Ito yung belief ko. Uh, ang mga tech startups yan ng uh, mag-help introduce ng uh, a lot of change na no, sa Philippines because uh, sila yung may um, maraming uh, area to innovate. No? Uh, for tonight, we have a distinguished guest no? uh, na ang uh, isa siyang chief data officer. No? So, wow, ano yun? Uh, ano ba ang chief data officer? Yan. Hopefully, ma- ma- clarify no to tonight no so itong chief data officer na to um he will be providing insights no so yan yung sa mga ask expectations kanina so ano ba yung mga opportunities um sa career path na to no if you take into account going into uh the startup no ano ba yung mga challenges ano ba yung mga different ways to get into this pathway um and ano bang itsura no ano ba yung mga parang uh, um mga ganap no when it comes to this type of industry uh napaka rapid no ng ng innovation sa past what 10 20 years and very uh, intense yung mga technologies today uh, and uh, i think that's something now we need to really understand especially tayo that are coming from well coming into no sa uh, technical careers uh, a lot of nasa audience natin are web, no? Mga web developers or at least aspiring to be. And then marami rin sa atin na mga data, no? Mga data, data engineers, data scientists, etc. Um, so, ano bang, what are the things to expect, no? Uh, para mas makapag-prepare tayo. Um, so, kung ano man yung background nyo, yung context ng situation nyo. So, hopefully, yung event natin tonight is something that can help you guys uh um help you guys uh prepare um i th- yun so essentially that's the ano, that's the event uh siguro before we start uh jen maybe we can do a quick parang description no kasi we have a lot of people na bago sa uh okay. fwdp and sa data engineering maybe jen you can give a quick description right. of what is FTW, fwdp for you and then i can talk about about data engineering philippines sure uh Sure, Mike. Thank you very much for passing the floor back to me. I <laughs> para tay mga encore, no? Ayan, So for those who registered, no, sa link ng ano na event, ayan, and those will be who came from Data Engineering Philippines. So pagkalala ko muna yung Filipino Web Development Peers. So Filipino Web Development Peers, yung abbreviation niya is FWDP or Phil Web Dev. Peers, no? We are a community hosted on Discord and Facebook, and we comprise of right now, I think we're nearing 6,000 members na in counting. So, this includes learners and mentors. So, we create lots of programs no, for for you guys who want to learn web development. No? We have peer mentoring sessions, we have field web dev talks, and monthly community day. Ayan. So, marami kami events that, you know, if you want to learn uh, web development, you will learn, no? Kasi all of what we offer right now is free. Ayan. And then every night, itong Discord natin, uh, may mga tao tumatambay, may mga tech talkers, which is, you know, mga sikat na tech talkers, ayan. Uh, may mga experts talaga sa web development, may mga sikat talaga na nandito talaga sa ating... Um, uh, Discord, no? So, here, you'll be able to approach them and ask them questions about not just a web development, no? But also in tech in general. Ayan. 
So, how about you, partner? No? So, by the way, guys, I'm the founder of Filipino Web Development Peers. My name is Jen. I'm 22 years old and I can relate no, sa ating generation, Gen X. Gen X ba tayo? <laughs> Ayan. Kasi palagi sinasabi, millennial eh. Pero millennial kasi it's, I think, 90s pa yun eh. So, um, sa ating Gen X, Gen Z, sorry, Gen X. Mas luma ko pala yan. Gen Z, no? So, I'm 22 years old and I just graduated last sub- September 25 computer engineering no sa Mapua MCL and this community I founded it when I was a complete beginner pa sa web development ayan so kaya yung ating target sa field web dev is mga students and career shifters talaga ayan so how about you Mike what is data engineering Pilipinas Sige, uh, so before I talk about Data Engineering Pilipinas, I'm Mike. Um, uh, I don't, yeah, sige. Um, I, I help start up the the group. So right now it's still an FB group, but hopefully we we get to launch our Discord group soon. Um, mm. Compared sa uh, FWDP, we're, we're fairly new. I think we started around July or August. Um, pero we're growing. Um, it's a group. So, Data Engineering Pilipinas, just sa name lang, no, context clues, it's a group focus around data engineering. Pero we talk a, a lot about uh, other, ano rin, no, mga data roles. No? So, there's a lot of data roles. Pinakasigat mm-hmm. would be the data scientist, uh, lately AI, no, um, but there's a lot, there's data analyst, there is, um, uh, yun nga, data engineering, there's the data scientist, there is the AI, M, machine learning engineer, etc. There's a lot of things around data. Um, and yung goal is to help people understand, no, increase data literacy, talk about data, um, as well as help people upskill. Um, marami nag na in order to get into data, you need to move or, or parang uh, change careers. Uh, that's not true, no? You can be uh, parang a web developer but have strong data skills. That's That can be uh, possible, no? Uh, so part of that is what we want to do. We want to educate people. Uh, syempre, if you want to specialize in data engineering, that's also part of the community. No? So there's a lot of experts to be help teach each other, um, try to navigate the career path. No? And that's why, yun yung reason bakit uh, we have this project. You know? um, we're trying to partner with a lot of different communities para uh, we can get more people talking about data, talking about technology, para, you know, we can help each other. Kasi, for me, the more people that get into data, the, that can get into technology, um, ano yan, I think it, it will help transform yung country, no? So, medyo may ganong advocacy. Ayan. So nakakatuwa nga, Mike, eh. Yeah. Oh, nakakatuwa nga, Mike, nung tayo ay, ano, diba? Uh, by the way, Mike guested, no, nung June 25, Yeah, so June 25 siya nag-guest. And actually, Philweb Dev, ah, Philweb Dev, Data Engineering Pilipinas is still a concept na nag-usap kami. So, ayan, it is, I, we're happy that it has come to fusion. And sino dito guys pala ang galing sa Data Engineering Pilipinas? Press 5 kung galing kayo sa Data Engineering Pilipinas. Kahit sa ating FB Live. Ayan, press 5, wag kayo <laughs> invite to speak. Ayan, ang dami, partner. <laughs> Ang dami galing sa Data Engineering Pilipinas. Ayan. So, ayan. So, na, na ano na natin, na, na sabi na natin yung general purpose and context of this event. So, partner. Ayan. Yeah. So, Sige. guys, uh, press 3 kung gusto nyo na makilala si Andoy, si Sir Andres Montiel. Press 3. Ayan. So, give it away, partner. Sige, uh, so I'll handle the introduction of uh, Andoy. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is of great pleasure that we introduce our distinguished webinar speaker, Andres Montiel, um, who is a visionary leader in the realm of data-driven innovation and transformative um, power of information. So, Andre, uh, Andres, or uh, as we call him, Andoy, no? uh, brings a wealth of experience no? and expertise to our event. With over 25, kailan nating emphasize yan, 25 years of industry expertise no, and experience. He works at the forefront of digital transformation, um, data privacy, product development, project management. Well, pero very specifically, um, and this is where mar- malaki yung paghanga ko kay Andoy. Next, uh, is innovation. No? So that's where he really shines. 
um, his roles has been marked by relentless commitment to using data. So it's always around data to affect positive change in the world, no? especially the mga companies that he works in. Recently, uh, in his recent role, no? or currently, uh, as Chief Data Officer at Packworks. So if hindi nyo alam ang Packworks, pwede nyo i-Google yan yan. No? Uh, Andres is driving innovation by using data to improve the lives of saripreneurs. Yan. So hindi nyo alam ang saripreneurs, and I will probably explain that later. No? Um, but essentially, yung mga sari-sari stores yan. So convenience store owners in the Philippines. This role reflects his passion. Um, and actually, yan, I think yung common sa ating lahat. No? There's a lot of passion around data, around technology. Um, uh, with the intention of driving social good. Um, additionally, his experience as the chief technology officer at Snap Market Research and his work as a digital strategy consultant for stealth microfinance startup underscore yung dedication niya to innovative problem solving um, in a data-centric approach. So, the, so he's, you know, uh, in a lot of things. No? Um, he holds a master's of uh, master of science in information management from Ateneo Graduate School of Business and a bachelor's degree in psychology from Ateneo de Manila University. His academic background, coupled with his extensive practical experience, position him as a thought leader in the, the intersection of data and innovation. So yun talaga, that's really where he shines now. So guys, um, join us. Uh, as Andoy shares his invaluable insights in the world of data-driven innovation, uh, his journey expertise will undoubtedly, hopefully, no, will inspire everyone in Andidita and give you uh, an idea no, of what's in it for you no, for uh, when you go into the tech uh, startup industry. So everyone, uh, uh, press five. <laughs> uh, <I> know, uh, <laughs> let's welcome no, Andoy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so good evening, everyone. Um, Gaya nga na sinabi ni Mike. Um, yes, I have been working for more than 25 years, actually. So, I have started working. Gaya na lang. Sige nga. Kung sino sa si inyo, okay, ang pinanganak. 1999 and beyond. And after 1999, subukan ko to, sir. Can you please press 3? Okay, quite a number of you actually have been, were born <laughs> or were even just conceived. To be clear, uh, just to be clear, <laughs> millennial ako, tapos si Andoy, eh, hindi pala. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, mamaya ako babawi. <laughs> okay, so at least a number of you are, were born though, af after, though, uh, after kong uh, gumraduate. Okay, which is good. Uh, to an extent, it's good. Why? Um, Kasi... Yung, yung mundo na kinalakihan nyo, okay, nung panahon na kung saan a diaper kayo, hindi pa kayo most likely doon nag naglalakad. Yan yung mga panahon doon kung saan nabubuhay o ginagawa yung mga teknolohiya na kung saan ngayon second nature na lang uh, sa atin. Okay, um, like for example, things that um, that are highly digital uh, already. Colored monitors. Okay, I'm sure inabutan nyo. Meron pa ba, ba sa inyo umabot ng green screen? Wala. Okay, hopefully naman wala. Okay. All of the things that you are using now were largely still being... Meron pa! Okay. Sunshine? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Dito. So, yung mga bagay na kung saan ngayon, second nature na lang parang binaba... Things that you see as common or you expect actually. Right? Were, were things that were still being either conceived, developed when I was still in, in school. Okay. Bakit din siya maganda? The things um, behind the things that you guys are largely using on a daily basis right now are driven by information are driven or by bits and bytes already right nung panahon ko uh, hindi pa analog pa rin quite a number of of uh, of things okay and the things about digital things those uh, those items those interactions have some sort of um digital or data trail and that will actually be the um that be the topic uh, at least part of the topic, though, that the pag-uusapan natin do ngayon is about data, um, but more specifically about a data career. Okay, um, I will be asking some questions then uh, later. Questions then though, or statements that hindi ko marinig 
um siguro um uh, Mike then and Jean patulong na lang na mag mag voice para mag shift back ako uh, dito sa sa Discord kasi pag naka-share ako na screen hindi ko nakikita itong uh, uh itong screen na, na ito. Okay? Um okay. So let's do begin screen share. Okay, there we go. Ah, okay. Okay, so I can still see myself a bit. Okay. So the title of this evening's um again it's not I would like it to be a discussion rather than a presentation. Okay. Um the title itself is Unlocking Your Future, Building a Data Career in Philippine Tech Startups. Okay. So keywords here that you will actually do, that need to take that you need to do to take into account. It's not just a career, career in general, it's actually a data career. Data career where? Okay, in Philippine technology startups. Okay, so yun yung two focus points natin ngayon. Okay? Okay. So we have a, um, a four-point agenda this evening. Okay, so we will start first by defining terms. Ano nga ba muna ang career? Okay, that's number one. Second one is what is a startup? Third, pagsasama na natin yan, how does one... As with almost all talks though that I give, there is always a disclaimer. Okay. These things are not are not necessarily the same for everyone. These are not necessarily though the same for any, for all companies. Okay. I'm going to be though discussing them from based on my point of view and based though from my experience. Okay. They may be different, they might have a different path, diff or startups as other sub startups might also have a different set of criteria or requirements and that's okay okay um but this one though uh, will be based on my experience which as na napag-usapan na natin kanina experience that is older than quite a number of, of you guys okay so we start of course with the first one what is a career okay ang nakita ko though one of the best ways to define what is a career is to differentiate it from what a job is okay a job typically is at any given point in time okay it is an activity to earn money an activity a set of activities as well to earn money okay career however okay it is um something that is free flowing na dire derecho okay career here is defined as professional progression okay so if we'll see here don't dito din dito din sa, sa flow na nandito okay a career uh, starts out, for example, for someone who is a teacher, a lecturer, okay? and then based kunyari, dahil din sa interest ng taong yon, naging uh, uh, freelance programmer siya, or at the side, nag-aaral din siya ng HTML, ng SQL, ng Flutter, ng something more um, um, computer-centric uh, work. Okay? So that so and then after a number of years dun, na nag full time na siya bilang isang either uh, data engineer or isang uh, a web developer. Okay. The next phase naman of the career, example, after uh, let's say after five to seven years, naging manager or director naman yung taong yon ng isang division sa isang organization. Okay. So here, job normally it's at a job is normally at one point within one's total career. Okay. And the career, though, is a set of jobs, a certain path that one takes and progresses um, against. Okay. A career, though, as you'll see here, though, um, later, does not necessarily end at any given point in time. Okay, and uh, I'll discuss why. Um, a career path also typically differs per person. Okay, so ito, ito yung isang, um, the, the slide, though, that we have here, careers of people that I have met. Okay, so I have uh, one person, I know one person who started out after college, naging economist siya, and then naging project manager. After maging project manager, naging data analyst. After naging data analyst, naging client servicing lead. Okay, meron din naman ako isang kakilala na kung saan after college, <laughs> naging geodetic engineer, nag-aral sa isang water company dito actually sa Pilipinas. From there, naging data analyst. From being a data analyst, naging data scientist. Okay? Meron din naman, okay, computer science student. 
Hindi pa siya ano ah, hindi pa siya graduate. Okay? Um so computer science graduate and then naging business intelligence developer. After maging business intelligence developer, naging data analyst. Okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Um these are actually then these are people within my team uh, at Packworks and they have a very diverse set of of skills okay and backgrounds but all of these things are data are data uh, focused okay similarly then uh, actually then on my end okay i mean my my background actually my my course in college was ab psychology okay after college naging yeah actually uh, right after college naging web developer ako okay Ah, uh, wala pa kami flash. I think tung panahon na yon, animated gifs pa lang yung yung uso nung nung panahon na yon. From there, and then I joined HR, HR, um usability, after usability, product manager and so on and so forth until I became country manager uh, of certain startups, uh data centric startups and then a chief uh data officer. What though can we see though from these from the people though that we see here on screen from the career paths that we have and even for example the one na, na ko. if you want a career specifically at least for example then dito then sa topic that we're talking about right now um a data career right in, uh, in here in the philippines wag yung hayaan yung sarili niyong matali sa kung ano yung kurso niyo sa kolehiyo okay whether you in my case for example whether you are a student in ab psychology okay whether you are Ano ba yung naalala ko dati dun sa, sa UP uh, Los Baños? Animal husbandry student in UP Los Baños. Okay. Maski ang layo-layo ng iyong uh, kurso sa kolehiyo sa kung ano yung nais mong trabaho at kung ano yung nais mong karir, pagkatapos, okay lang yan. Okay. Bakit? Kasi ang mahalaga din dito, hindi lang kung ano yung kurso mo, kundi kung ano yung mga kaalaman mo, kung ano yung mga hobbies mo, ano yung mga skills din na nakukuha mo, even if it is outside your course. So to the question now, what career path, for example, is best for me? Okay. Um, I would normally though ask the people who ask this question. Okay, anong career path is best for me? I would normally though ask, what problems do you want to solve? Because based on that, dun mo malalaman kung ano nga ba yung career na gusto mo. And for a number of students as well here. If you are worried na um, I don't know yet what my career is, what problems do I want to solve, that's okay. We can, uh, it's a completely different session actually than in terms of answering uh, that. But continuously though asking what problems do you want to solve like, or even what are the problems that you enjoy solving. Okay? Then doon yung makikita din unti-unti kung ano nga ba din talaga yung career na nais niyong uh, uh, makuha. As you'll see here as well throughout the presentation, there is no hard and fast set of rules. And actually, then, karamihan din nga dito, tinatawag namin, Miss Universe answer. Because a number of these points are dependent on the individual uh, that I'm talking to or the individual who is asking this uh, uh, themselves. Okay. Okay. So we have defined though what a career is. Okay, a career is typically a um, professional uh, progression. Okay, next question or next topic though that we will define naman, what is a tech startup? Okay. Um, the working definition though of tech startup that we will use for this evening, okay, it's not necessarily the global definition of what the tech startup is, but at least ko ano yung gagamitin natin ngayong gabi. Okay, the term start tech, uh, sorry, the term startup normally refers to a small early stage company designed to grow fast okay and this one is actually lifted from y combinator our focus though here is technology startup okay because there are many start maraming types of, of startup you have an agri focused uh startup you have a health focused uh a startup you have a service oriented startup and all of those are valid definitions all of those are valid startups all of them are valid definitions of startup but our focus though for tonight will be a technology-focused uh, startup. What is a technology-focused startup? Um, I would, at least for tonight's session, 
that focus on something that is whose main use case is about something that is delivered via a screen-based item um, or that uses bits and bytes, for example, in terms of communicating things. So, for example, IoT can also be a tech startup, an app, uh, uh, an app-based uh, startup is a tech startup. A web-based startup is also then a, a tech startup. Um, so yun. Okay, so yun yung mga gagamitin natin for tonight in terms of uh, defining a tech startup. You'll also see here one important point as well here is that startups are designed to grow fast. Okay, and yan ang pagkakaiba ng startups sa small business. Okay, normally, again, not necessarily though always, again, normally though, um, the difference is that a startup is designed to grow fast a small business, normally, ang aim niya is to have a regular stream of income. Okay. Um, is, can a small business be a startup? Yes. If the vision still is that to grow fast. Ang grow fast, according kasi do to Y Combinator, though, in order to grow fast, it's around, I think, 10x or plus per, um, um, per year. Okay. So I think do medyong medyo matayog na na napangarap yon but in any case ang objective normally that for there is to grow fast. Grow what? Okay, yun din siguro din uh, uh, ang unahin natin. It depends. Again, okay, Miss Universal. It. it could be growing your number of users. Okay? So for example, within the first year, uh for ex- uh, when you, at the start of the year your users are let's say 10. By the end of the year, your target is to increase that to 5,000 users. You're a startup because or your aim is to grow fast. It, it's not necessary to grow revenue 10x. It's to grow something uh, fast. So for example, okay, Data Engineering Pilipinas and FWDP, they can actually act as well or emulate that, text, that, that, that startup vibe by, let's say, growing the number of members by, cert- by x. Okay? So yun, um, um, uh, yun ang pagkakaiba. Yun din madalas ang dahilan kung bakit ang mga startups, you will see um, in, in a number of um, uh, of literature, you have tinatawag na lang funding rounds. Okay? Kasi mahirap, remember, ang objective ng startup ay para lumaki as fast as possible. Versus a small business is to have a steady and sustainable stream of income at sa, o- sa umpisa pa lang. Ang startup alam niya na hindi niya magagawa yon kung wala siyang resources, kaya normally humihiram siya ng resources sa, sa iba. Okay. okay. Before though, uh, in order now to continue, um, I'd also now want though, to ask the question, can you name some Philippine tech startups? Okay. And again, by your own judgment, ano sa tingin niyo yung uh, Philippine uh, tech startups? FWDP, you can consider that as a tech startup. You're growing fast, right? <laughs> Mint, yes. Gcash, yes. Okay. Okay, Square Labs, IT Philippines, Coins PH, Move It PH. Okay, okay. One thing though that, um, yes, a number of, uh, you'll see though, okay, it depends, okay, again, in terms of how you define that. The, the companies though that you mentioned right now, they are on a, most of them though are on a growth path. Okay, I won't say which companies are not necessarily um, intend to grow fast. Right now, I, a number of the things that mentioned are not necessarily small business because they're actually big, but we're in their objective is um stable uh revenue not necessarily though to to grow some but quite a number of the, the things that you mentioned are actually though tech startups i completely agree okay next question though okay name some philippine startups that you would want to work in okay ibang na, ibang tanong naman at similar kanina ko ano startups ang kilala nyo ngayon based for example on the startups na nabanggit nyo which ones of these, or pwede din kayo mag- magsabi din na ng iba, would you want to work in? Okay. 
Okay, hello, hello. I also see here, um, dito din sa Facebook, we have, we have um, eCloud Valley as one of the, ano, here dito din sa Discord, Maya. Uh, Lina, I hope I pronounce it uh, correctly. Bay Maya, okay. That's okay. Second thoughts, we'll discuss later. We can actually delve later in terms of having second thoughts. That's okay. Why is having th second thoughts okay? Because though it means that you're still thinking, okay? That you are not just being pass, you're not just passively accepting, I want to work here because all of my friends are actually working in this organization. Okay, for me, thinking is, is a good aspect. Okay, oops, sorry. Um, let's, okay. Okay, so we have already though talked about what a career is. We've already talked as well what, uh, technology startup he is especially here in the philippines you guys have named quite a number of them and you've also thought about because even if you didn't give your answer the mere fact that you read this i'm sure pinag-iisipan nyo na oh nga ano nga bang philippine tech startup ang gusto kong puntahan ng gusto kong pagtrabahuhan okay pag-isipan lang pag-isipan lang natin maya maya maari lumabas din yan o may, makatulong din sa ibang mga katanungan na lalabas mamaya okay pagsama na natin ngayon ang career at the Philippine tech uh, at ang uh, at ang tech startups now the next point is how do you now build a career in data okay excuse me okay for me there are different requirements typically per company excuse me my my personal set of uh uh of requirements okay Dalawa. From, from a technical skill perspective, dalawa yung action uh, requirement, SK, S, SQL and Python. Okay. Um, again, guys, sinabi ko din kanina, are these the same requirements across all companies? Not necessarily. Okay. Kung ako do, kung isa man lang dito, basic, you need to, you need to know SQL. Okay. Um, I disagree though with with some con people saying na, I don't need SQL, I just need Excel. If you're going to be dealing with lots of information and you need to connect to a database uh, in various databases, sometimes it's a relational database, sometimes it's a columnar database, um, you need to know some sort of SQL. Okay, So that's why SQL is the basic one. You also need to know Python. One of the easiest and best ways and most transportable skill that will allow you to uh, to manipulate data is and manipulate and even visualize uh, data is uh, is Python. Okay? So yung, uh, yung, yung dalawa na yun. Um, what I've seen though a number of of, uh, of my people and my friends do and Mike, Mike will actually know this significantly better than me in terms of Python. Pandas, Sikit, Sikit, host of other uh, components um, of Python. Okay, so yun yung two basic skills, SQL, Python. Now, what they would normally call though as well is soft skills naman. Again, my, my requirement though is curiosity and kulitness. Kulitness and asking questions until you and your client know what they are asking for. Okay. This audience, we have around 150 people right now here in, in, in Discord and significantly more as well viewing in, uh, in, in Facebook. Okay, whether you are on the data engineering side or whether you are on the um, soft, uh, sorry, uh, web development side, okay, you have to ask questions until both you and your client understand what they're asking for. Okay, dun sa mga web developers, um, sorry, question, uh, sorry, uh, dito sa mga web developers, for example, dito, um, nakaranas na ba kayo ng isang freelance project na kunyari, sasabihin ng kliyente nyo, make me a website, tapos tatanungin nyo, anong klaseng website? Basta maganda. Okay, meron na ba kayo naranasan na ganon? Siguro, siguro uh, sorry, type 3 here, if, if naranasan nyo na yung ganong klaseng kliyente. B. Okay. <laughs> madami ba madami nakaranas na ng mga ganon klaseng mga kliyente um, if you're going to work in, in a data oriented uh, role within an organization okay 
my requirement though is that you have to continuously ask until both you and your client understand bakit kasi minsan yung kliyente hindi din niya alam at sa pamamagitan ng pagtatanong ng mga tamang tanong dun din mas natatauhan din yung kliyente okay kunwari okay ito yung nararanasan din namin um lalapit yung isang kliyente sa amin whether internal client like within the company or outside or an external client okay minsan tatanungin nila o oh, andoy gusto namin um bigyan mo kami ng dashboard na kung saan nalalaman namin kung okay ang business namin okay and then tatanungin namin ano po yung ibig niyo sabihin na okay yung business niyo pag ang sagot sa amin ay either hindi ay, hindi namin alam or bahala na kayo um hindi kami mag-uumpisa sa proyektong yon okay dahil ako sa pakiwari ko nagsasayang lang din ako ng oras dahil ang mangyayari ang madalas na nangyari sa ginyan meron kaming gagawin na mga numero na trends na insights or analysis ta sasabihin hindi yan yung hinahanap ko okay or oo nga tumataas ko nyari yung kinikita ako uh, as a company na pinapakita yung search and I completely then agree pero ang mahalaga sa akin ay kung ganong kadaming sari-sari stores na yung napagsisilbihan ko okay Um, kung kaya't mahalaga again na sabihin nila kung ano yung gusto nila. Minsan, kung hindi nila alam do kung ano yung gusto nila, bigyan nyo sila ng suggestions. Okay? Parang kunyari din kanina, di ba, sa web development. Um, sorry, mamimili ako ng mga tao na nandito. Kunyari si Windsor. Okay? Kunyari si Windsor, may, may kliyente. Okay. Uh, sinabi ni Windsor, uh, um, Bossing, ano po yung klaseng website na kailangan nyo? Sasabihin ng kliyente, gusto ko maganda. Okay? Sasabihin, madalas dapat na Windsor, ano pong ibig sabihin sa maganda? Hindi ko pa alam. Okay? Then, Windsor, theoretically, would be able to give some samples. Okay? Kunyari, sasabihin ni Windsor, ito po yung tatlong sites na kahawig po ng, ano, ng industriya nyo. Maganda po ba sila para sa inyo? Ah, oo. Okay? Sasabihin, yeah, yung, yung pangalawang site na yan, maganda. Okay, at least may idea na si Windsor. And then, that starts the conversation. Not from a completely blank slate, but at least a more concrete target. Ganon din sa data. Kunyari, balik tayo dun sa kanina. O, Andoy, bigyan mo kami ng dashboard na nagpapakita kung okay o hindi ang business namin. Okay, again, tatanungin namin, ano po ibig nyo sabihin sa okay? Pag sinabi nilang hindi namin alam, bibigyan namin silang suggestions. Ibig nyo ba sabihin kung ganong karaming, for example, mga tao ang, ang employed sa inyo? Um, ganong karaming... Um, sari-sari stores ang inyong uh, napagsisilbihan, ganong kalaki ang kita nyo, ganong kalak- ilang probinsya sa Pilipinas ang napagsisilbihan nyo. Kunyari lang, hindi mahalaga sa kanila na within 100 mega store, uh, sorry, stores sila, sari-sari stores, ang posibleng mahalaga sa kanila, meron silang at least isang sari-sari store sa lahat ng probinsya sa Pilipinas. So again, give uh, uh, give suggestions. Okay? So, kaya kailangan doon curious ikaw bilang uh, tao at uli na tanong uli na naghahanap ng mas tiyak o mas buong uh, uh, sagot. Not necessarily completely defined. Again, no one can really completely define it perfectly. But at least continue to ask until both of you understand. Meron din dito though a meme. Okay, to replace graphic designers with AI, clients will need to accurately describe what they want. We're safe. Okay, this one was actually got taken from i think it was um a meme refer, uh, from someone who works in an ad agency okay what does this mean though what does he say because honestly though for people normally it's very difficult for them and me as well for us to articulate what we need we need help and how do we help them you, we could, we ask questions okay so you'll see these are the basic requirements in terms of having um uh, a career. I won't give you a list of technologies. You have SQL, you have Python. Will I recommend AWS skills? Will I recommend Azure skills? Will I recommend um, uh, Go- uh, Google Cloud skills, even IBM skills? I won't, um, I won't give you a specific technology because it also then depends on the, uh, on the startup that you will work with. Okay. But if you guys are continuously curious, about the data and about continuously learning. So yeah, ako ang alam ko sa mga tao sa na nakatrabaho ko, maski wala pa silang ganun ka ano na, na technical skills, ang mahalaga sa akin ay nakikita ko na na 
tumutubo sila in terms of uh, in terms of those specific technical skills. Okay? Um, skills can be learned, but behavior, ethics, values, curiosity, coolness, uh, uh, those are things which are very are, are very difficult to learn at such small uh, uh, short amount of uh, of time. Okay. Okay. Now let's go now to specifics. Okay, those were what I mentioned a while ago were the specific uh, the basics when it comes to uh, starting a career in data in tech startups. Dito naman, okay. Um, dito naman natin do uh, pag-uusapan kung ano-ano nga ba ang kailangan ng isang tech startup. Okay. You will see here the different general phases of a startup. This one though I based it based on uh, investment. Okay. You have sorry pre-seed to seed, series A and then growth to to late. Okay. Startup uh, state of startup and data. Okay. Normally if you're pre-seed to seed, excuse me. The focus of the company is to find a product market fit. To find actually some clients that are interested in the, in the product. Make as many prototypes as possible. At dahil nagmamadali kayo, ano ang resulta? Ang data ay either kokonte or super kalat-kalat or super inconsistent. Kunyari, sa isang lugar, uh, sa, sa, uh, at, at one version, for example, of uh, at, at one point in time, uh, sorry, at one point in time, okay, ang kailangan nyo ay um, full name, which is kunyari sa akin, Andres Montiel. Pero mamaya, two months later, ang kailangan magkahiwala yung first name tsaka last name. One field is Andres, another field is Montiel. Okay? Maya-maya, meron kayong gender. So, kalat-kalat pa yan, disorganized. Okay? So, that's the state of the uh, startup. If you're going to enter or join a startup in this phase, what are the opportunities for you? Okay? One, um, you will you will be working there largely to clean up the data, to organize the data. You will also have lots of EDA, which stands for Exploratory Data Analysis, okay? making sense of the data that is there. If you join as well a company at this phase, normally you will be laying the foundation of data operations. What do I mean by laying uh, uh, down, uh, sorry, uh, the foundation of data operations? Pagpili ko nyari kung anong cloud provider or kung magka-cloud ba kayo or magbe bare metal kayo. Okay. Those things, if you are early in a startup, normally you get to define these things. Okay. Also, you are able to define this and make mistakes. Because at this stage, wala pa talagang tiyak dun sa startup na, na yon. Okay. Also then, if you are at this stage, normally report card kayo ng bayan. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Okay, report card kayo ng bayan kasi tumutulong din kayo sa mga sa founder or founders okay, para maka, mas makakuha ng mga investors. And normally, investors will be asking, what, is, what are your metrics? What are, what are, well, first, define mo na what the metrics are, what are the numbers of those metrics, and so on and so forth. So, those part, okay, you will be the report card ng, ng bayan. Dito din, madalas, um ma mahigpit na pagtatalo in terms of defining what um uh, uh, what those numbers actually are okay so that's pre seed to seed okay um next is series a okay in series a what is the state of startup and the data the product or service is getting significant traction so dumadami na actually yung gumagamit nakahanap na kayo sa grupo na mukhang Okay, ano, um, natutugunan mo yung, yung problema nila sa pamamagitan ng produkto at serbisyo mo. Okay, so yun. At dumadami na yung gumagamit or mas madalas nang gamitin. Pangalawa din, mas may pera na. Mas may pera na yung kumpanya kasi series A ka na. That's actually already a big chunk of money. Okay, which means more money to invest in, in the, um, both, both in people and infrastructure, in data infrastructure. Third point as well in terms of series A, Data is now flowing in a fairly consistent speed and form. Okay, dahil madami nang gumagamit and normally nandoon na kayo sa punto na ay niyo sirain niyo produkto. <laughs> okay? Kung kaya habang dumadami yung gumagamit, minor tweaks for most part, okay? And uh, sorry, and, or and big tweaks probably around the, the core, which means a big chunk of your data is now fairly the same uh, in form. Okay? Now, as a data person, Okay, in this, in a, in a startup in Series A, what are the opportunities and needs? There are three points here. One, operationalization ng ngayon of data processing. Kanina, 
dito sa pre-seed to seed, things are largely ad hoc. Dito sa Series A, mas operationalization na actually yung ano, yung mahalaga. Na tipong madaming pumapasok, dapat nasasalo nyo. Dapat nasasalo nyo sa tamang oras at sa, dam- at sa tamang hubog. Okay? Pangalawa, automate things so that operations can scale. For example, kanina wala din nabanggit, Kumo is actually a startup here in the Philippines. Okay? When you, you have to automate, for example, gathering numbers, gathering views, defining what views are, and so on and so forth. Why? Because those things convert to money, both for the one making the videos and for the company. Okay, so you have to automate that. Okay. Um, next as well, you have to embed data science in products or services. Okay, hindi na masyadong ad hoc na lang. Kunyari, may hihingi say, oh, ganong karami ba yung, yung viewers natin, let's say, from Luzon? Okay, and then, kukunin mo yung data, titingnan mo, blah, 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 tapos tsaka mo ibibigay. Hindi na. Ideally, embedded na yon, automated na rin yung pag-generate ng, ng, ng reports at pag-manipulate ng data, paglinis ng, uh, ng data. Okay. That's Series A. Last part, okay, growth to late. Stage ng startup, you already have lots of users and clients, lots and lots of data. Data is now an integral part of the company's operations. Okay? And data is equal to money. Okay? What do we... I, uh, uh, what do I uh, mean by data is equal to money? Let's say, for example, if you do not record a sale or a purchase, you lose money or your clients use money. Okay? That thing has to be tracked. That is data. That has to reflect in, your, um, in the databases though, that you have in the reports that you actually show. Okay? Um, what are the opportunities and needs? Uptime and BI dashboards or business intelligence dashboards. Normally, dito din papasok yung machine learning operations. Okay? In pre-seed to seed, even up to series A, you might have some sort of machine uh, in some sort of machine learning, but normally experimental pa sila. Hindi pa ganon ka operationalized or ganon ka embedded in all of the products and services. Okay. Third point: data system stability and data reliability, which means again, dapat pag may nagbato ng information, pag meron na click, dapat masasalo mo yung information na yon. And of course, last one is data accuracy. When you say that you had Kaya balik tayo sa isang uh, kumu. Okay? 1,000 viewers, ang, ang sinasabi mo, dapat meron ka talagang 1,000 viewers. Because if you are reporting 1,000 viewers and the actual viewers, let's say, at 300,000, um, there is something wrong with either how you are gathering information, computing information, and that also then leads to some sort of loss. Okay? Um... Yeah, that's why data accuracy is very, very important when you're already at uh, growth and uh, at late stage. Okay? Um, okay. Sorry. So that is the startup phase and role of, of data. Um, last part. Okay. Now, with regard now to role, kung magtatrabaho na kayo dito sa mga kumpanyang ito, anong, saan kayo magtatrabaho dito sa, sa kumpanya na ito? Okay. This one, uh, the data pillars that I have defined here are normally in the divisions or departments that I lead. Okay, and normally we service other departments. So this one is like the data office. There are three main pillars. One is operations, which under that is data prep. It's an advanced models. The third one is productization. Okay, wherein ang, ang, ang objective nyan or ang Ang role niyan is to create value out of the data and it should now actually be repeatable and sustainable. Okay. okay. Normally, okay, the flow of data starts with operations. Kinukuha niya. Yung data engineers namin dyan nakaligay sa operations. Okay. Kasi yung data engineers namin ang naninigurado na ang kailangan na data ng mga analysts at data scientists namin ay nasa wastong forma at nasa isang system na kung saan magagamit nila. Once nakahanap na ng insights, yung mga data analysts, data scientists uh, namin, then tinatawag namin productization uh, leg. Bakit productization? Ibig sabihin ng productization, pa- para, ang trato kasi namin dapat sa lahat ng mga as these things are products, which means it adds value to other people's lives or departments. Okay. Is the flow always like this? Not necessarily. Sometimes it can go from operations straight to productization. Okay? Bakit? 
Kasi, remember, meron tayong isa. Kunyari, ano yung sample na ito? Uh, ah. Recommendation engine. Okay. Normally, okay, pag na-define na kung ano yung model, productizing that bit, hindi mo na kailangan yung analysts. Kasi na-define na siya, na-automate na siya ng operations. And that recommendation engine delivered, for example, via an API to an external party or, ano, or even internally, productization of that is already automated. You skip the analytics bit kasi nagawa na dati. Okay, while you're still making that, then it's this, but once nagawa na, then that's this one. There are also then many times, based on experience, when it becomes more complicated than that. Okay, from operations to analytics, creating a model. Pag nagawa na yung model, ibibigay sa operations, they will now try to automate it. From Python, they can use, for example, Spark. Okay, once nagawa na yon, ibibigay na yon sa, sa productization uh, people namin who will actually now um, use that to serve internal or external clients. Three months later, i-review yung model, kaya mapupunta ulit sa analytics, and then babalik ulit doon sa operations. Okay, so it's not, there isn't any fixed path. Even this complicated path as well is, uh, uh, is, is not fixed uh, as well. It differs per organization. But from my point of view, though, um, these three pillars are have to be present. Okay. And our objective is always productization. Productization so that it can be useful, it is be repeatable. And ang palay ko rang sinasabi din dito din sa, sa team ko, at least. Um, guys, our objective is to make ourselves useless. Okay. When I say useless, Ibig sabihin nun kung ano man ang ginagawa natin ngayon, mano-mano, dapat gagawin abot tayo sa punto na kung saan hindi na tayo kailangan because na-automate na natin. Either via an automated process, via machine learning, uh, uh, via some sort of algorithm or via some sort of model, automate that so that we can do other things, other more exciting things. Okay? Uh, um... Okay. Sorry, madaldal dahil madami yung mga bagay at alam ni ni Mike yan na na na, na, na madaldal uh, uh, ako. Okay. Fourth part actually as promised is the Q and A. So ask me any question about the topics so that was discussed, that was about mentioned. If you have any questions as well um, depending on where you are in your career, in your life or even in terms of startups, let's see if we can answer that. Okay, Q and A, or how do we go, Mike, Gene? How do we go about this? <laughs> okay, since we have a lot. Okay, guys, I'm um. Um, ask your questions here either in Discord or in Facebook, and I will see. Uh, um, I'll, I'll, I'll ask there. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, I'll also I'll just open all windows that I have. Wait, uh, okay. Um, okay, so let's look at. Okay, can EDA and prediction analysis, uh, analysis um, skills are good to become a data scientist? Yes. Um, okay, normally though, and here, Mike, Mike, please also then do step in if you have a different, um, we, have, we have normally different people, different organizations have different standards, what you call though, a, um, a data analyst and uh, let's say a data scientist. I'll also though start though, I'll also then say though that for me, um, meron kasi ilan na nagpo-post ng jobs or nags, uh, sinasabi na data analyst sila pero ang ginagawa nila din sa trabaho nila and kasi base wala yun na sinabi din sa, sa job description data analyst sila pero nagka-copy and paste lang sila ng information from one system to Excel okay for me that's not uh, I don't consider that as, as data uh, analysis okay so sorry so back to your questions can exploratory, data, can exploratory data analysis and prediction analysis skills are good to become a data scientist yes Okay, those are very, very good foundations, actually, because one, you cover not just basic SQL, 
not also than just basic Python. If you're going to do predictive analytics, you should already know more advanced um, uh, Python or R uh, uh, plugins or, or components and not just know how to use them, but also know which ones should you use depending on the question that is being asked. Okay. Uh, that's one. Uh, sorry. Next. Okay, are IoT engineers considered uh, as data? I, sorry. May, yeah, yes, Mike. Sorry. Yes, Mike. Yeah, I'd like to add lang regarding dun sa ano ano. Um, the the uh so so sa there's a famous na Venn diagram no sa data science. Probably you've heard of that. Um, yung parang overlap between uh programming no uh domain expertise chaka statistics. So that's very important um bakit kasi data science does a lot of parang coding no um pero there are also opportunities for automation um there are data science tools uh that does not require coding no may mga may, ang tawag doon ay mga GUI may mga uh, graphical user interfaces sila um so may mga ganong opportunities na if hindi kayo magaling sa programming, merong ring mga low code na platforms den. Uh, I think one example na is data robot yata no. So may mga ganon. You can you can search for that. Pero very important yung two other parts of the diagram, which is the statistics or essentially the math, and then the other one is the domain expertise. Um, the work kasi with data science is that you're always trying to work with data to try to understand create understanding for the business. Ngayon, yung um, pitfall doon, yung danger doon, is if you don't know enough about the domain, so kunyari, let's say, kunyari lang naman, you're working with ano, retail, na? so you're selling things, um, pero you don't know enough of the business, mah- uh, mali yung, potentially mali yung interpretation mo of the data, mali rin potentially yung uh, conclusions mo around the data. No? So, baka mali yung, ang outcome nun, mali yung recommendations mo sa business. The other side of the coin is um, yung stat, no, the math naman. Um, if kulang ka sa statistical or mathematical rigor, uh, kuyari yung pag-apply mo ng method, uh, hindi siya, ano, no, parang malinis. No? Uh, Siyempre, yung, oh, yung conclusion, malaking chance na mali rin. No? So, medyo garbage in, garbage out. Uh, the technology side, the programming, uh, what it serves is the automation. It helps speed up the process. It helps you work with data, a lot more data. Kasi the traditional um, uh, methods kasi, ane, spreadsheet, no? Parang you can only work with so much data. The more modern approaches, it will allow you to work with so much data. Di ba nga, five years ago, sobrang big thing yung big data. It's It's very hard uh to do a lot of that without technology pero the, the technology allows you to scale if you're doing it wrong then you're scaling it wrong parang ganun right uh parang if you're doing something wrong uh, and your output may is wrong then you're just automating the wrong thing no? so that's what i want to say ayan lang i'd want to echo as well to 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 repeat a valid point that mike actually though said okay um about getting domain expertise. Okay. Right now, I'm working in Packworks. Our focus is Sari Sari Stores. The industry that we're working in is, is our FMCGs, okay? which actually Mike is, is, is an expert uh, in. So, idol yan si, si Mike. Yan sa ano, puntong yan. Okay. Prior though to FMCG, and it's similar to Mike, it's, nag, nagkatrabaho kami before sa Globe. Telco is very, very different from, uh, uh, for, from FMCGs. Okay, from FMCG information or for, sa- or for retail sales information. Okay, normally with telcos, you have so much um, breadth in terms of data. And dami dami. Right? Um, we have 150 people in the audience, including the speaking people speaking. Dito sa Discord, here in, in Facebook, we have 77 people as well viewing it. And I'm sure, absolutely sure, that each one of the people here have at least one phone and at least one okay si mike anim yata yan meron pa siyang nokia 3310 okay but at least at least one phone and all of that information all of those devices right are have some sort of used at least once mobile data 
right? So telcos have very, very large amounts of data. FMCGs though naman, um, at least from a retail perspective, don't have that much information in terms of volume. Okay? But in terms of depth, they do. Okay? What do I mean by depth? What item was bought? Okay? For example, in, in, let's say in, in a grocery store, ano yung laman ng cart nung, nung binili? Yung, yung items na na yun. Um, let's say, sabihin natin, chippy, isang kilong karne, yakult, tapos uh, uh, gatas. Okay? Ganong kadami, 150, mil, oh, 150 milliliters, um, two uh, ng Yakult is dalawang pakete, and everything like that. Okay, so magkaiba, okay, yung data, and iba-ibang paraan din kung paano nyo din sila i-analyze. Kaya doon sa domain expertise, it's, Mike, ik- ik- ikaw ba na hir- what Maakli din question for Mike. Mike, was it difficult though for you to move, let's say from Telco to, uh, to, to an FMCG, uh, data role yeah sige um uh so so i think two things kasi siya um one on one side is the the technique that the ano no the yung technical skills um in data science there is a heavy emphasis on statistics and mathematical rigor so uh if it generalize mo siya lahat ng data is the same kasi kumbaga lahat yan ay rows and columns eh. Um, so, it's really trying to understand ano yung mga uh, techniques na available sa'yo. Um, so, usually, yun yung mga linear algebra, yung mga, again, mga statistics, average, etc. Um, standard deviation, ganyan. So, you need to have strong understanding doon. Um, ngayon, the, the, ano, the challenge doon is that when do you use it? Um, paano mo malalaman kung mali or tama yung paggamit? Ano yung limitations of those tools? So yan, ano siya, parang it's it's reusable across the ano, the parang different types of data. Um yung madalas yung challenge is really um when you start to move into a different industry, um tama yung sinabi ni Andoy na that the data changes. Um so there are some industries na yung data is uh, uh long, mar- maraming transactions. No? So, a good example nito is telco. So, telco parang bawat galaw, bawat second may transaction yan. Um, a- an opposite side of telco is insurance. Kasi insurance is parang kung kailan ka lang bumili, saka lang may transaction. And then the next na transaction na is pag nag-claim ka na. No, kung narin, let's say, meron kang car insurance. Pag na-accidente, saka ka lang magkaka-claim, saka ka lang magkakaroon ng transaction ulit. So, ano, pero... Um, ang nangyayari naman is usually may mga different industries na ito yung describe ni Andoy na um, may breath na mas marami kang flavors or information na makukuha. Um, so ang nangyayari ngayon, uh, uh, mas mas varied yon, Varied yung information. Yung, yung difficulty madalas doon is creating uh, parang a mental model, yung concept um, uh, yung pinaka ma advice ko doon is to have good understanding of how the business works. Like kunwari, um madalas ang 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 tip ko doon is if you're in telco, paano ba sila nagkakapera? Na sino ba yung customers? Paano sila nagkakapera? And then from there, understanding yung parang flow ng pera. So pag pag uh, pag may nagbayad, paano nagbabayad, uh, yung cost noon sa napupunta. Um and then uh, ano yung mga tip type ng produkto, gaano kadalas yung parang pag-ikot ng pera ng pagpagbili, ganyan. So, ganun din. Doon mo, doon mo makikita kasi yung parang change uh, sa structure ng data. So, kunyari, bank, um, tuwing ke, uh, paano ba nagkakapera ang bank? Uh, usually sa interest. Um, every time mag-deposit, every time mag-withdraw, every time magpa-utang. Um, so, technically, yun yung mga produkto nila. And doon manggagaling yung data nyo. No? Uh, sa case of ano mga web developers no yun yung mga product na gagawin niyo meron kang uh, 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 parang iba't ibang interfaces na you need to create um whether it's from a web app or a desktop app no uh, ano yung parang journey na kailangan i-take ng user and then anong uh, parang interface design yung dapat um parang uh, maging appropriate for that type of user minsan it also affects the data no um hindi ko lang ko aware kayo na pero madalas ano yan parang 
uh, away yan ng front-end developers and back-end developers kasi to front-end, uh, parang kung how the interface is created, yun yung, it will help, uh, it will dictate a lot of anong klaseng data yung maka-capture. And then, syempre, yung mga back-end naman, nagihintay lang kami ng data eh. So, kung ano man yung data ma-store, yun lang yung ma-analyze. Parang gano'n. No? So, may mga gano'ng, ano, no? may mga gano'ng um, parang variances no? sa situations. Um, uh, it's something to consider as you try to navigate yung careers nyo. Especially if you're navigating a data career. Parang the, the types of data you will encounter, it will help things, uh, parang it will help spice up yung experience. No? That's something to add. To add. Okay. I think the um, maganda din na sinabi din ni ni, ni Mike yung konsepto ng front end uh, development and also the term product because I think I also then want to uh, share then at least go back to the three pillars which. Most of the things that we've discussed here largely fall, at least with regard to the science bit, to the programming bit, and even the math bit and stats bit. That's largely more of a sorry of operations and analytics. You need those things to be in order to deliver operations and analytics pillars very very good. Do you need to be good in stat, in math, in order though for the third pillar, which is productization? No, at least again, from my point of view. Okay. Why? Because we are now, dito though, the third pillar is actually data products. And the data product can be something, for example, like uh, like what Nielsen is, is doing, right? Like, like, like a report. It's not necessarily, you don't necessarily need to be very, very good in math. And their equations are actually publicly available as well, the ones in Nielsen. But that is a data product. Again, that might also be something that is uh, a useful uh, uh, for as a data career in a, in a, uh, in a tech startup, um, for me, my requirements for for na ilalagay that I would hire that under productization. If you guys are a web developer, that's a big plus. Why? Because web developers tend to un- at least, especially for the ones that uh, that build front end components very very well. That means that you have a good understanding of the of the total user experience. Okay, it's not just about what data is being given, but how will the person or your client actually consume this and thus you deliver it as a product, whether though that product is an API or a dashboard or an app that can be discussed later on. But the third pillar, productization, you don't need to be very, very well versed uh, uh, in stat uh, and in, in math. But again, that's my view. And maybe Mike and I actually might fight or might argue over this. At a piece, parang kami ni Mike, okay. Um, so, so you know that that's that also then is a career option if you want to have a data career in a tech startup, okay. Uh, product uh, productization uh, bit, but for me, at least for me, for my requirements, you still need to know um, uh, SQL and Python because if you're selling a product or making a product, you have to be sure that the data explain. Um, is delivering something that is correct and is of uh, of value. Um, sorry, uh, sorry, is that one. Okay, yeah, uh, so more. Sorry, yes, Mike. No, no, I, I was going to point you some. Ane, may merong isang question nandi ko na kung mo na yung how did you make your way from tech uh, to tech from the psych field? Oh, okay. Um. Uh, sorry, from psych to tech field. Okay, so my okay background. I'm bad at math. I'm very bad at math. Okay. Well, I was in high school. First time ko makakita ever ng isang line of six ng grade sa math sa isang quarter. That's that's my grade. Okay. Dear, ang nanay ko kung sakasakali makita mo to paumanhin sa sakit ng ulo <laughs> na akin pong binigay sa inyo dahil sa mababang grade. In college... I failed advanced math. I also failed physics. Well, I also then failed chem. Okay. So I had three Fs in college. Again, Nanai, I'm so sorry. And I appreciate all your patience. But I was very, very bad in math. Um, I was bad at physics. But I was still very, very curious. Even if I was, even if I am, I, even if I got an F in physics, I am still, though, amazed at how 
um, formulas or, or, or equations in physics are applied in real life. Okay? Sample. Okay? Um, in, in one mall here in Metro Manila before, nung natapos na yung isang sine, um, nandung kami sa top floor. Okay? Uh, some of my friends were on the top floor. Um, and then we wanted to find out what, how high that, that building was. At least from nasan kami ang sa baba. How did we do that? We dropped a coin. And then we listened, how, we counted how many seconds it was until marinig namin ulit yung, yung, ano, yung sound na tumama yung coin sa baba. Math, uh, math equation, one half gt squared. G is your, ano, is G, G is static, that's for gravity. T is for time. Compute that and then you'll find out what's the distance. Okay, from the floor to the, I think, nasa third floor yata kami. So, how did I move? Uh, from, let's say, well, AB psych, but there, there was also then uh, physics. For me, I, again, this is just for me. I still remain curious and I, I continuously connected the dots in the sense that whatever I learned before, I found ways in terms of how to apply that in other fields. And that's now how do I moved from psychology to, uh, no, uh, to, to, see, uh, well, to, to, to a tech field. That's one. Two, in psychology, you will always be working with people. Okay, either you manage up, you manage across, or you manage down. You will always be working with people. You have to understand their ins and outs, how, how they decide, how they think. You have to be always curious and be makulit. That also then helped me uh, in my uh, uh, tech life. Um, and also then, admittedly, for a time, I was also then a web developer, even if I was uh, psych. I think naging web developer sa shucks. Yung ko na sabihin yung mga kumpanya dahil nagsara na sila. <laughs> I think baka nga nagsara na sila bago pa kayo again ipanganak. Okay? So, that's how I progressed. Always remain curious. And again, even if it's psych, I always studied, I, I, I still have Photoshop here. Uh, I used to have Adobe Flash. I still know how basic HTML actually. So, uh, PHP was still one of my favorite programming languages. A number of you might hate PHP. But again, for web development, it's one of the fastest languages that you can use to make something just continue building using this as a portfolio using this as a learning tool for php i use that as well how to analyze data how to make graphs or charts during that time and that's unti unti and going was the bad remember career it's not just it's, a career is made up of multiple jobs multiple skills along the way but one thing is important you have to always be progressing okay to an extent you always have to ask where do i want to go and then just continuously parang redirect yourself and gain skills if uh, kung tama ba pa, papunta ba ako dun sa kung saan gusto kong uh, tumungo so I sorry again selfish kailangan ako palagi yung star so yun yung kwento ko dahil yung karanasan ko yun ba again ang tamang sagot hindi ko po alam pero ayun pero ayun lang po sa aking karanasan that worked for me Thank you, Andoy. Uh, I'd like to answer one question dito. Um, pero before before I go there, uh, I'd like to add rin to how Andoy answered the question. No? Um, uh, sa, sa side ko kasi, hindi rin ako strong sa math. Um, but uh, I, I kind of see it as uh, parang instead of knowing the, ano, no, the material, parang knowing yourself is important. Like parang paano ka, ano ba yung learning style mo? So a- ako kasi I I learn better when it's applied. So kunyari uh, parang hirap ako to understand heavy theory sa math but um when it's applied, it's a program or it's a it's a problem, mas mas nakaka-capture ko siya. Pero it takes me like sobrang tagal and sobrang raming problems before at least yung intuition nagegets ko. So para I think that's one tip. Um pero yung question kasi na I saw, uh is it true na mas mataas ang and need the skills sa data science job compared sa web dev for starter. Uh, I'd like to highlight this, no? Kasi in my mind, parang it's not, hindi sila magkalaban. They are different jobs, so it will require different skills. Pero in in my mind, digital skills, eh, y- yan ang hot. Uh, Siyempre, medyo challenging kasi it's evolving. Ang raming tools, ang raming concepts. Um... Uh, I think focusing on foundational, siguro yun yung matitip ko. Uh, pero it's going to evolve. It's I think it, yung tools today in data science is different than 
five to ten years ago. So it's going to it's it's going to, to keep evolving. Ayan, thank you, Tano. <laughs> okay. How do we go? There are still more questions. Do we answer it? Sorry. Yeah. It's already 8.15. I apologize if I took too much time. Um, and baka din gutom na. Sorry, to the, to the audience here, is it okay if we continue? Uh, and Jean, sorry, mas Jean and Mike, mas, mas gamay niyo to. Do we continue? Do we pause? I, I don't really know how. how okay what? Na. Nasa office okay. pa ako, pero I support this. No. Okay, okay. Jean, mahina yung voice mo. Ay, mahina ba? Wait lang. Dito yata yung ano ko. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay na. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Palit lang ako okay. ng input. Ah, sige. Uh, sige. Ano Let's... Ano ko ng question? Okay, sige. Go, Mike. Uh... Okay na. Okay na Ito, yun. if the company is already fully automated, what tasks will data practitioners perform? So, I guess it's the fear of automation. Ah, Okay. Ang masasabi ko dyan, if your company is full, if, if, for example, if the company that you want to work with is fully, actually, sorry, actually, ang isipin ko nga dyan, I have yet though to see any company that is already 100% automated. Okay? There are companies that are automated, wherein they have a significant number of processes or systems that are already automated. But if they are a startup, and remember, their objective is to grow fast. Okay, that means that new things are being done, new products are being built, and those things are most likely not yet automated. Either data gathering, data analysis, or even productization bits of, of those. Oops, sorry. Um, they, may, they are most likely not yet uh, automated. So there will always be an opportunity for you um, to do something in that company. If they say that everything is already automated, don't work in that company because I'm sure they're lying. Yeah. All right. All right. I, I, I hope questions. I hope I don't know who because you know. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Pero okay. this is Facebook actually. Uh, what is yeah. your? Dami, dami questions actually, guys. So meron tanong si Dennis Ivan Chavez. Dami, ito startup founder siya. Uh, Andoy. Are IoT engineers considered as data engineers? They design hardware and software on what data is being collected, basically data aggregators. Sabi ni Dennis. Tanong hey. Dennis actually. It depends. Yan ang talaga yun. Is their focus though more on the device? Or is their focus on the data that the device is generating? Okay. Um, typically kasi, uh, for at least for me, a data engineer should be responsible for the end-to-end -end, uh, data component or data flow. At least, at, sa akin kasi hindi mahalaga yung data, sorry, yung data gathering kasi sa ibang departamento ko naka-assign sa engineering or software uh, dev bit. Okay. Pero for example, for IoT, if ang ginagawa mo lang doon is IoT is just setting up that individual device and then ensuring, for example, that it captures data, pero pagkatapos doon, bumibitaw ka na, na kung saan um, hindi mo na tinatarbaho kung paano ibigay ng, ng, um, ng device na yon yung data sa isang database or sa data analyst mo or sa data scientist mo. Wala ka napakailam sa format, for example, ng data. You don't work on that data delivery bit in my view again in my view you are not a data engineer okay uh you are you are an iot device engineer uh but not necessarily a data engineer okay it doesn't mean though that you cannot be a data engineer neither does it mean though that you are not part of the data engineering process you still are right because you are working on the on the device on the component that captures the data so you are still part of the process but in my view, uh, you're not necessarily a data engineer. Ito may question Ayan. around ano, how tech, uh, I think this is more of a 
how to apply or find jobs no so how okay, how do okay. tech startups find talents uh sa usual platforms ba like linkedin or my platforms ba na parang focus area ah okay <laughs> again miss universe answer po it depends okay for me what we have done though we have gotten actually candidates from uh from various uh areas what oh, sorry is there any specific online site though that we go to not necessarily we look for some in linkedin we look for um i think monster we look for indeed but more importantly though um dito din ka dito din mahalaga yung network nyo okay um when siguro karamihan din sa inyo masudyante okay sino yung posible mga network nyo mga teacher nyo si mike nakapag-recommend na siya ng ilang beses na mga naging empleyado ko sa sa packworks Okay, because Mike was part of the network of that student. So, yung kanina, meron ako isang slide na pinakita. Uh, where, where was that? Uh, sorry lang ha. Nakusan yung career path was computer science student and then business intelligence developer and then data analyst. Data analyst actually a bit outside na na ng company pero pagkakalam ko yun na yung career niya. Yung empleyado namin na yun, she was she started with us when she was just a second year computer science student. Okay, studyante pa siya. Um, and again, this is not for all startups. This though is just our startup, because from my point of view, um, as long though as you are able to show that you are capable of learning, learning fast, that you have a, an amazing sense of ownership, okay, it doesn't matter whether you are a student or whether you are a thirty-year-old graduate, okay. If you want to to learn and to work uh, on data, and you show uh, competence, you show eagerness, you show na, nagutom ka at nagusto mong sa aming nga palagi na hinanap na meron kang puso na gustong tumulong para sa mga saripreneurs or yung mga may-ari ng sari-sari stores, we would definitely though give you a chance. It doesn't mean that you'll stay with us. Okay? But we will, for my experience, we will definitely though give you a, a, a chance if if there was an, 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 an open role though for, uh, for us. Kaya nga, sa trabaho sa mga kumpanya kaya nga merong ano eh ah uh, anong tawag doon sorry mike yung pag hindi pa pag hindi pa employed uh, probationary period sorry that's the thing that's why there's a probationary period okay um and i'm not sure though if okay medyo magiging PG13 daw yung masalita dito bakit sinabi dati ng 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 isa ko, ng pinsan ko who owns uh, a company maganda yung nalala ko din sinabi niya when you do interview people Okay, uh, candidates for a job. You're bullshitting them and they're bullshitting you. Okay? So it's not the complete picture. That's what a probationary period is actually uh, for. So, doon do, talaga mag, mag, uh, mag, magkaka, uh, magkakasubukan. Um, sorry, nandun ako sa punto na sa dulo na sagot pero hindi ko malala yung tanong. So, hindi ko, I'm not sure though if I answered the question. I know I started uh, answering the question, I'm not so sure though if I actually answered the question. Uh, job hunting tips yet? Uh... Okay, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Then again, okay, sorry. But again, so job job hunting uh, tips. Um, indeed, uh, indeed, monster LinkedIn. Uh, uh, yes. Um, um, I got a number of app, uh, people as well from uh, from Esquelabs, um, or other companies that actually. Kasi ako data focused yung hinanap ko. So I get it from 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 uh, organizations that actually teach a data centric uh, uh, uh ano ba tawag mo dito? Uh, data centric uh, lessons. Uh, what else? Where else? What I would lo- So that is the where you can apply. Yun na lang siguro. So those are the points where you can uh, apply. Um if you want to get then good experience in terms of data, palagi nyo sinasabi, do some project either on GitHub uh, and, and stuff like that. Um, w- for me, for example, is it important though that you have lots of certificates from lots of uh, uh, companies? Sorry, pero hindi ganun kahalaga. Um, we, we have a basic SQL test and dun din naman namin malalaman whether you're competent uh, or, or not. Um, Good. And it's at least on our end, it's also then a big chunk is also then culture fit. Okay. Because even if you're the smartest person around, okay, but 
your uh, your personality and your culture, your sense of ownership, for example, uh, kunyari kung masyado ka nega, uh, uh, para sabi, in, in, hindi ka namin kukunin. Dahil ma- mahirap alagaan. <laughs> kailangan, uh, kailangan masarap ka bonding. This is early bonding. <laughs> Because, um, for a certain portion though, I am strict. Yes, we will be very congenial. Uh, we will be friendly. But at the end of the day, it is still the company and we have to deliver something of value to our stakeholders. Our stakeholders are still our bosses, our clients, which are the Sari Sari stores and the FMCGs as well that, that we serve. Um, but will being friendly, okay, make you more hireable? Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Meron dito sa isa sa Facebook, meron siya sinabi niya, ang ambag niya lang ay ngiti. That's a good start. Okay? Sorry, pero kung pagpalay ka na kasi mangot pag sa interview pa lang para kang natabunan ng araw ay sorry. Hindi ka tatanggapin sa sa interview. Pero kung ngiti ka lang at wala kang utak, wala kang puso, hindi ka rin naman makukuha dun sa kumpanya. Okay. Sige. Uh, eto, may parang multiple questions that refer to this. Eh. Um, if yung uh, career aspiration is eventually to become a chief data officer, or chief data analytics officer or somewhere along those lines would you recommend going through like consultancy or a startup uh, may parang uh, experience na would you recommend na in general mm-hmm. okay one of the best ways though to jump start your career is to join a startup why normally if you are if you join a big corporation medyong malayo ka sa sa decision making process and your voice is not necessarily heard that much again not always again na sorry god again hugas ka may eh, no dahil marami akong kilala sa malalaking corporation pero normally in corporations what you do is very well is a bit distant okay from your clients Uh, from what you want to learn as well. And madalas, nakakahon ka na. If you want to progress quickly, so na, nasa na ba doon kanina um, yung startup phases? Dito, di ba? Remember, if, um, sorry, um, uh, sorry, I'll just show. Doon sa pre-seed to seed, if you join a company at that stage, you will be, you will have the opportunity to lay the foundation for data operations. Okay, if you join a big corporation, most likely meron ng ganun. Okay? So you wouldn't have that opportunity anymore. Um, but again, it's just an opportunity to do that. Will you actually do it? Just just kailangan mo pa rin talaga patunayan yung sarili mo. Um, so if you want to progress quickly in your career to get a diverse set of experiences, learn a diverse set of of technologies, start up. Pero mahirap ito. Because everything is so ambiguous. Uh, you don't know who your actual client is. You don't know who your actual product, uh, what your actual product is. You also have risk, right? In a startup, you don't necessarily know whether that startup will still be present one year, two years, three years down the road. Okay? So there is a necessary risk. But guys, bata pa kayo, man. Diba karamihan sa inyo, tres kanina yung nilagay nyo eh. Okay lang yan. Ngayon kayo magkamali. Kaysa kung saan meron na kayong, well, sa bagay, pwede rin mong may anak na kayo, new grad kayo. Okay, pero bago pa kayong magkaroon ng anak o mag-aalaga ng pamilya, take these risks already. Okay. Um, build your career as early as you can. Because norm- well, because also then if you start then building your career, you also find out that this isn't the path that I want. But at least start it. Uh, start early. Work in a startup. Kanina yung mga binabangit, yung mga kumpanya kanina Maya Gcash and gosh I have many friends though in, in in those companies go for something smaller okay you uh you have an, one group for example on Facebook startup.ph you will see there are lots of uh, Philippine startups that are not necessarily uh, big but sorry yeah. when I say as well join a startup pag naman kayo mag magpaloko na tipong magsasali kayo na sa startup tapos parang intern lang yung yung trato sa inyo okay know your worth uh, as well so yun 
Yeah, ang daming daming nga sa Startup PH. Yes, makakapagsalita na tayo, guys. Ayan, so just to share din na uh, I'm also a wait lang, may nag-echo. Diyan may echo ka, ayan. May may echo ba ako? O oh, pinili ko si Kay Ando 'yun. Oh, wala na. Okay na. Ay okay na. Sige. So Startup PH din yeah, daming ano. So it's also your opportunity to network din if you join groups so startup founders din if you want to found or establish a startup pwede rin. Tama si Andoy. Actually nag-usap kami. Nag-nanood niya niyan eh yung mga founders na all, all that G. Ayan. So nag-usap kami. Actually ang pinag-usapan namin is tama yung kasi ako 22. Siya around 24 ganyan. 24, 22. Sabi namin Tama lang din na ngayon tayo nag-pound ng mga startup kasi makapag-risk pa tayo. Kasi ang hirap kasi mag-risk pag ano, di ba? Tama ba guys? Pag may family na, pag nasa 30 plus na, parang nasa giging conservative na kasi yung uh, pag-risk, di ba? Parang magiging mas manageable dapat. Ayan. Tapos ano pa ba? Ano pa ba mga mga tanong nyo guys? Oh, sorry, just add lang ako dyan, no? Um, I think may ano... Uh, I, may mga trade-off, I guess, depende sa parang life stage. Uh, hmm. Maganda sa early because, kumbaga, marami kang energy, ganyan. Pero as you, kunyari, sa 30s ka na, may, may, ang maganda rin kasi, si, meron ka ng experience, may magigive back ka. Especially pag medyo hmm. mas marami ka ng experience, hindi ka lang makaka-contribute ng mas marami, pero makakapag-lead ka. No? So, uh, medyo ano siya, may mga, uh, may mga trade-offs. Um, Uh, I think it's it's more of ano no parang if may makita kang magandang opportunity or ikaw mismo makagawa no ng magandang opportunity um and you have that ano yung parang um makapag ipon ka ng tapang to actually go for it then go for it no uh parang oh. don't let it hold you back if tingin mo you need to ano di mo pa time okay lang naman wala namang parang don't stress too much about it no yeah do- depende talaga sa tao And also guys, yung pagsali pala sa startup ah. Ah, uh, marami kasing naganap ngayon if you look at startup page colon jobs. Marami naganap ng talent. Ito yung pangalan ng startup page jobs. Ayun. Pero may mga ano diyan na una may mga startup na ang pambayad nila ay shares. So, yun na isa. Kasi yun yung usually hindi naka-bootstrap na startup. Tapos, may mga naka-bootstrap naman, pero expect na babawiin nila yun pampata sa shares. Mga ganon. So, uh, yun, you should know din kung sino yung mga kasama mo sa team, sa founding team. You should also know kung kung sasalay ka sa startup ko na yung mission and vision nila, kung na yung mga ino-offer nila or if you are a right fit dun sa team nila. Expect din na very busy diyan sa startup kasi yun nga you will have the opportunity to build the processes. Ayan. And usually kapag nagana sila na bagong talent, ang trato nila sa if not as an intern ang trato nila sa'yo ay as a co-founder. So, I joined a few. Tapos, nag-stick ako dun sa Plant Box Innovation and sa, yun nga, Plant Box Innovation talaga yung pinag-stickan ko. <laughs> Ayan. And yun. Right now, we're doing fine sa Tentence Academy and then, ito nga, ito FWDP, it's transitioning na to a startup. Ayan. So, ayun. Ah, uh, Those are the things that I'm going to share with you. There are startup page jobs if you are looking to work in a startup environment. Ayan, wait, I'll post it on Facebook. There are many that offer. Actually, the startup page is actually the most active startup, Philippine startup network in the FB. Ayan, I'll post it here. Ayan, so if you are a web developer, maraming nag-anad dyan, mga naka-Node.js, ganyan, who uses Node.js and all that, no? So, yeah, Mernstock, ayan, marami din dyan. Flutter, ayun. Usually, sa mga startup din, walang, ano, walang, kaya yung gagawa na sarili nyo yung routine, yun. 
So, di ba talaga yung dami na tutunan na na nakakapas? Certificate. Na ba yan, Mike? Yung motivation nila, certificate, no? <laughs> Konting lambing pa sa founder niyo. Konti pa. <laughs> Ay, galing nga ito sa ano, data engineering Pilipinas, eh. Tama ba, John? Ah. Kanina Kanina pa yan. Nababasa ko yan. <laughs> <laughs> Kanina Basically, pa yan. Uh, <laughs> no, ang gagawin ang gagawin natin is mag-aano, magpo-post kami ng link para sa feedback form. Um, you can answer that ngayon kung magkakaroon ng certificate o hindi, malalaman pa natin, depende pa yan sa founder natin. Pero at least nasa feedback form na kayo. Oh, para malaman natin kung yung tunay na paka niyo dito, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, learning ba talaga or ano, 'di ba? 'Yun. Oh, tama, kinig mo na kayo, ano? Oo. Oh, oh. Sige. Ah, uh, siguro pwedeng nating gawin 'yan, ano? Feedback form, ha? <laughs> <laughs> pag ano, pag alam niyo na 'yung ano, passing na na. No <laughs> copying, ha? <laughs> Ayan guys, kung so, saan yung natutunan nyo so far sa ano, may questions pa ba kayo? Tama na yung certificate, ha? <laughs> there are Wala questions. Ng question. so, where ah, are the, question lang. No, but there are some questions here wherein um, how do they start, for example, at least learning how to analyze information or how to analyze data. There are lots of uh, data available um Ako focus most focus first on on Philippine data. You have COVID and when you say data though, it's not necessarily like in a CSV format because although that's the common thing. You have map, you have map data. Okay, that is available. You have open street map data. Analysis of locations or geospatial uh, analysis is also one form of data analysis um that we might actually not be be seeing or even looking at. But in R, for example, for, for my team, I have one expert in, in geospatial analysis. And it's a chest, sa pinaka in demand sa aming organization. Okay. Um, where do you start? Download available data. You have free COVID data. You have free, I think, job data. So um, if I find so some data sources, I'll, I'll share it na lang then both to Gene and, and to Mike. And we can probably put it either in uh, FWDP and in data engineering. Download those data, put them in either M, uh, MySQL or, or Postgres, and then just play around with it. Do some sort of exploratory data analysis. Okay? Try to find some patterns or some visualizations that you did not know before. Okay? And see, find out then, oh, this is interesting. It's actually something that I want to continue. Or you might also find out, ah, boring. Ayoko to. Okay. So, but uh, there are lots of... Uh, freely available uh, data that you can start playing with. Uh, yeah. I think, Spotify, I'm not sure, I think Spotify also has some available data. But again, when I say data, sorry, hindi yan report na may chart na, ha? Hindi, hindi, pa po, hindi po yung data, as in actual tabular data, that, that, or geospatial data, which is in the form of um, areas. Start with that. Yeah. Actually, it's a good practice or pag-flex ng data engineering skills nyo, no? uh, it doesn't it doesn't mean na data scientist or data analyst or whatever yung parang uh, role that you're aiming for and you don't learn data engineering skills. Uh, data skills, ano yan, uh, it's very important across all, ano, all um, uh, roles. No? If you, the more data skills that you have, the better na you, you can, uh, more, more effective you can be. Uh, more so if you can find data na I think that's the ano parang sobrang underrated na skill siya. Um also gusto ko lang i-emphasize yung sinabi kanina ni Andoy regarding um geospatial analysis skills. Sobrang uh, underrated noon no. Um bakit kasi uh they uh geolocation, geospatial skills cuts across all data. No. If merong event, it may have uh, a certain location and if you can correlate it with other uh locations of events Ah, maganda yun. You can even connect it with other types of data sets. Um, so that's a very, very important skill. 
uh, Python R, maraming tools to analyze. Uh, uh, you can also look up ano, GIS. No? So, QGIS yan ang open source na ano na tool for analyzing spatial data besides uh, using Python and R. I think SQL, you can also use it uh, there. You can also pala then create your own data set. Um, oh, yeah. a number right you a number of you guys are uh, web developers or data engineers use scrapy right to to actually download uh pages uh for example shucks what would be a good place to start sorry tipid pc if it's suddenly to mass yung number of ano scrape tipid pc look at for example what are the prices recently um of certain uh categories and then do word analysis like what and get on or even do do sorry to a tipid PC if there's some sudden spike in terms of traffic to your site scraping your information but you can create uh, your own data set Twitter I would have suggested it before I'm not so sure if it's still um, good to scrape so I don't know what's going not anymore Ex- not anymore okay then, uh, then probably not um, scrape news websites I guess you can actually extract information there as well and then there are some NLP uh, frameworks that allow you to 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 split certain components. Um, uh, ah, okay. Sorry. Uh, create. Uh, cre- so okay. Uh, creating uh, data. Aha. Okay. Here. Another way. Um, you can extract um, podcast text. Okay. There are tools on GitHub to do that, and then you can use Whisper. To convert audio into text and then analyze the text. Okay, so again, create your own data. Uh, and w- Whisper is also uh, an open source software that you can uh, that you can actually use. Um, I would do, re- but th- this is for me personally because I enjoy doing this. Build your own server that you can use for ano, um, for for analysis. Okay, in my house, I have at least one, two, three. I have at least three servers, headless servers, all running Linux. Um, and I connect to them remotely for, for some sort of data analysis. Um, uh, Mike also uh, bought a data center already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but again, uh, <laughs> use Pi, you... guys, if wala kayong budget para sa ano. <laughs> yeah, you can use <laughs> Actually, you use Raspberry Pi or it's ano sa Facebook Marketplace. You can buy something. Sometimes you can even buy something. Sorry, you, yes, use Raspberry Pi if you want something low power. From a budget perspective, um, you can also then sometimes it's cheaper than a Raspberry Pi. Um, I have some na binibili ko yung mga um slim PCs like Dell 3080s or something like that. Yung mga mga maninipis lang den talaga. That are like a couple of yeah. books. Kahit, uh, yung mga ano na lang, kahit yung mga second-hand lang na PC, okay na yun. Malisaksa ka man yes. Linux. Yes, definitely, the definitely second-hand. Um, ano, so use those things to, ano, um, I, I would, again, personal recommendation. Do you need to do it? No, you can do it on your Windows PC. Um, but ideally, though, you use Linux uh, as an environment to, to at least house the data or as a server. Um, it will make you more marketable. Uh, y- y- yun lang yung ma- um, uh, uh, I, think, uh, I think maraming students dito. So, GitHub has a pack for student. GitHub. Yeah, uh, GitHub student. So, isa sa parang content nun is, uh, I think, Datacom. Uh, a digital ocean na ano, na credit. So, it, mm. it has a certain amount Thus, you can create a small server out of that. Yeah. So, may mga ganon na you can try out. It's Linux skills, com- um, atag dun, command line uh, skills, being able to set up uh, things like Ubuntu, ganyan. It's a very valuable na skill. Regardless kung whether web dev ka or uh, data person. Very ano siya. There are also some free Postgres um, cloud servers. I'm just posting it here, both here in in Discord and in in Facebook. It's free. I use it actually for a number of tests uh, that I give, so that you don't yeah. need to install Postgres. Yeah, you can okay try. Okay, the WSL. Yeah, okay, rin yan. You can you can join GitHub Student. Oh, guys, 
sa by using your .edu email. Ayan. Madali lang yung process. Actually, di ako natagalan. You can, you just show your proof na student din kayo. So, I showed my ID. And then, within, within an hour or so, natanggap ko na yung aking uh, privileges. Ayan. Ayan si Kiara, GitHub Student Pro. Ayan, i-congratulate mo lang si Kiara. That's why we were, we, ano, we we're wearing pink. Uh -huh. Ayan. We are wearing pink uh, to celebrate. Ayan. Pero coincidence talaga to guys. Coincidence lang talaga. Hindi <laughs> namin na pinag-usapan na mag-tipping kami ngayon. Pink, uh, <laughs> uh, siguro ano, talaga... parang maybe we can we can take a few more questions. Kasi la, parang mag-time check tayo ng 9, 9 o'clock. Is that okay? Para ano? Oo. Talagang patok uh, talaga ando yung talk mo. Oo. Oh, benta, benta. <laughs> Episode Kasi nandito na... si Mike tsaka si Jean. Yan lang naman eh. Diba? Ako si... <laughs> Wala ka. Ngiti nga lang bog ka dito eh. <laughs> oh, pink kami. FWDB din pink. Pink and purple and blue. <laughs> Bolyo talaga si Kiara. Ayan. Uh, expect more guys like this. Talaga nilalabi ako nangina ng mga ano ah, ng mga iba dito. Sina, yun, sino ba yun? Parang pinag-isip ako talaga kung magbibigay tayo ng e-cert mic. Ayan no. Oh. Kailangan lambing nyo palang konti eh. si founder guys. <laughs> Konting lambing pa daw. Ang bobola. Mm, konting lambing pa. Siguro ano, we, what we can do as a last question na lang for Andoy. Parang, uh, Andoy parang, ano ang siguro ma uh, mabibigay mo as general advice for everyone? Maybe like, if if you are giving advice to your younger self, ano ba? Mm, magandang tanong yan. 30. Huwag mag-carbs masyado. 40 <laughs> years ago. 50 years ago. Joke. The, some time ago. <laughs> some time ago. <laughs> some time ago. At for me, um, starting out. Ah, sorry. Learn how to communicate earlier. See, it's not a technical skill. It's not SQL. It's not Python. Um, but learn to communicate, learn to listen. That's what I should have done uh, earlier. Um, background then, for example, for my team, everyone in my team has to has to present to the founders at uh, uh, within I think within six months yata. Because the the why why is presenting to the founders important for me? Making a presentation means that you understand the problem, that you um, know how to solve it, and know why that is a problem. And for, for any data-related work, for me, those things are very, very important. It doesn't matter if your slides are ugly, wala uh, pakailam kung wrong spelling. But it, for me, it's important to, to know how to listen, how to find the problem, and how to communicate and explain those problems and those solutions to others. I would have... I should have done that significantly earlier. Okay. Ayan, guys. So, kung doon siya practice yung communication skills nyo, tambay kayo dito every night sa ating Discord. Nandito po lang palagi nakatambay. Sina for team, ayan. And yung mga sinasabi kanina, binabakit ka yung mga tech, yung mga Python, ganyan, SQL, yung mga kailangan yung matutunong for data engineering. You can also communicate din sa Data Engineering Pilipinas. And ang tabayano nyo yung pag-create nila ng uh, kanilang server, no? Discord server, right, Mike? Yeah. Uh, ano na yun? Uh, nag internal testing na kami. So, we're hoping to launch next week. Yun. Ayan. So, dito guys, web development sa Data Engineering Pilipinas. Ayan. Data Engineering Data Science related to data. Ayan. So, kasi malaga na guys yung collaboration, learning to present, communication, ganyan. <laughs> yung mga emoji ni Kiara eh. Open po ba kami si Chana for beginners like us po? <laughs> yes, uh, open po. Uh, and, yeah, so, last question siguro. Sana di lang server makreate, sana i-certificate din. Lambing ba yan, Clovers? Grabe, so, Lambing. grabe yung inyong ano, motivation nyo guys. Certificate. Oh. Ano ba yan? Magpo-post kami mamaya ng link for ano feedback form. 
Malay nyo, baka dun pala, no? Baka dun pala. So, make sure to ano. Pero baka lang naman. Depende, konting lambing pa daw. Sabi ni founder. <laughs> Lambingin nyo din si Mike, guys. Sa mga taga data engineering Pilipinas. Ayan. Alright, so any more questions before the certificate? Kanina pa yan, ha? Ayan, so, I have a question for you, uh, Andoy. Which is what we always ask sa uh, dulo ng ano, Taylor the Docs, no? So, what's next for you? Oh, at least for me, specifically, at least, for example, within two, two contexts, ganun talaga. Eh. Context, let's just focus on my, uh, what's next for me within Packworks. For me, what's always next is that we need to understand our users more. Um, we are seeing a uh, number of transactions, uh, but ideally, our next step for us is to get more qualitative information, more qualitative feedback, and use our next project namin is actually LLMs to understand that information on a more regular and streamlined uh, basis. So that's what's, uh, that's what's next, at least for us. So here, there are also a number of points that need to do in the chat about chat GPT. You can ask. Um, my recommendation is rather than learning how to use chat GPT, which I still recommend, try making one. Try making chat GPT there are, uh, or something like it. Or use an open source model and to fine tune it um, to your language or to your specific uh, needs. Uh, don't just be a user, okay? Be a creator. Yon, yon po. Galing, Andoy. Thank you so much. Grabe to si Coco Martin. Motivation daw niya. Yung mga grapong host. Ano masasabi mo dun, Mike? <laughs> Kaya ang host talaga dito ay si Jen. Ano ko? Ano ba? Moderator. Moderator. <laughs> Tagatanong ng questions. <laughs> Don't just be a user. Ayan guys, so take away doon sa sinabi ni uh, Andoy, doon sa kanyang last, sa ating, ano, um, I think last, no? Uh, don't be, don't just be a user, be a creator. Ayan guys, so dito, uh, sagot na po tayo ng feedback form. Ayan, I will send, ayan, yung feedback form dito sa ating chat on both Facebook Live and Discord stage. Ayan, so pero mamaya magpapost kami sa aming mga Facebook uh, pages. Okay, maging user. <laughs> Ayan, guys. So, press 7 kung na-enjoy nyo ang ating, ano, ang ating uh, first episode, no, Mike? Between Data Engineering Pilipinas and Filipino Web Development Peers. Ayan. So, hopeful ba kayo na magkakaroon pa kami ng mga ganitong sessions between the two uh, thriving communities? Enjoy kayo, guys. If you like it, uh, iparamdam nyo sa feedback form. Oh, Di ba, Mike? Natabuno na yung feedback form, Mike. Oh. <laughs> Hindi na sila makakatalag na i-insert. <laughs> scroll, scroll up na lang, guys. Kaya... Plastic nyo, ha. I-insert lang na manhabol nyo, eh. Tsaka, di ba, na lumalabas yung ano, eh. Yan, data din yan. <laughs> yes na, yes, sabi ni D&D. Thank you so much, uh, FWDP, DPH, and Sorrento. Yan. There will be more sessions like this one. Uh, thank you din sa 150 people who came here sa ating live. Again, uh, dito sa ating ano, kahit araw-araw po yan, makikita ko naman araw-araw ng iti ni Founder Gen Engineering. Ano ko to si Ains? Amin mo na. Ayan. Nilalambing ako para makakuha ka ng insert eh, no? <laughs> Ayan, guys. So, um, what to expect sa FWDP? Ayan, mag-share din si Mike on what to expect sa uh, Data Engineering Pilipinas. So, of course, sa atin, tuloy-tuloy lang saya sa atin uh, FWDP server and sa ating, of course, Facebook group. Uy! John Devin for team! Nagiging bayani sila! Ayan. So, sa atin, magkakampa tayo ng programs where we're going to yun nga, teaser lang ng konti, we're going to have a series of, siguro, mentoring nights, ganyan. But what we usually do, no? every night, pero magiging program na siya para uh, magkarating sa maraming tao. Ang ginagawa natin na, uh, you know, tambahin sessions every night. Makikita niyo po doon si uh, Fur Team. Ayan, sikat po yan, si Fur Team. Uh, kinakuha po speaker yan for the Gen Zs. And uh, si John Dev. 
Isa po siyang tech talker. Ayan. So, he's known for creating parody songs about related to tech. And he's also giving tech tips sa kanyang uh, plug mo nga, John Dev, yung iyong ano. Um, and then, uh, sa so October 21, Mike, we have yan, event din. Upcoming event. So, stay tuned. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're cooking something up. So, wait na lang yun. Uh, oh, so, we're cooking something up. Marami pa, marami pa kaming joint events, guys. So, pause check muna. Ayan, sino po dito ang um, member din na StuDev PH? StuDev PH. Uy, several people are chatting. Ayan, nanonood din si Ma'am Rea kanina. Nakita ko si Ma'am Rea kanina, nanonood siya. Ayan, tinawalan niya ako eh, nung ano. Hindi daw mo siya nung nagsasagita. <laughs> ayan, dito ba si Ma'am Rea Kasia Alum? Yes, yes. Me po, ayan. So, marami po taga, ano. Ayan, makikita nyo rin si John Devs to the page. Ayan. So, sino po ang taga din at me sa ating, ano, Facebook Live and also sa ating Discord server kung galing kayo sa mga uh, communities na yun. Ayan. O, oh, diba? Yung mga may dahon. Yan po. Yan po ang ganas data engineering Pilipinas. Ayan. So, if you are interested sa web development, we are here. We we will uh, launch no, yung mga peer mentoring sessions. Bubuhayin din pa natin UIX sa uh, ecosystem. Ayan. And how about yung mga naka sa monthly event? Monthly event natin noong September 30, 29 to 30, kung saan si na Sir JP Lazaro. Ayan. Type me. Ayan. So guys, October uh, 7, which is, eh, di pala event, but sana magkita tayo sa October 7 sa APC Makati if you registered for the group event. Yeah. So, kawai-kawai kayo ha. Kawai-kawai ha. Ayan. So, sino pa yung mapapunta sa, ano, sa Google event sa APC Makati? Ayan. So, ano ha? Bangitin nyo ako dun ha. Ayan. So, nag- nag-share si per team ng mga LinkedIn ni na Mike and Andoy. Uy, ba't di mo ko sinali dyan, per team? Ako, gusto ko din sumikat. <laughs> Dabi tayo, ha? Si AJ ata, galing sa ano to eh, sa DevCon to eh, si Makati. Ayan. Patama, galing nga siya dun. Si Sato. Ayan, Mike, uh, what to expect sa Data Engineering Pilipinas? Oh. So, di actually, ano ba? Ano ba? Wala pa. <laughs> Siguro yung pinakalatest pa. lang is yung launch ng Discord. Yeah, that, that's one. Um, and then yung mga upcoming joint events with other communities. Um, I'm trying to create a pipeline of speakers na more technical yung topics, no? Um, kasi medyo varied yung topics for, ano, for data engineering. We need... Um, uh, from creation ng mga data pipelines to ano ano to platforms. So that one stay tuned kayo. Um I think inuuna ko lang yung pag setup ng uh pag identify ng mga volunteers saka ng ano nung Discord kasi yun yung wala tayo no. Parang right now ako walang ako pa lang yung nagpapatakbo ng lahat. So gusto ko sana ng ano ng um natawag doon ng structure para mas organized tayo. Na so, guys. Start ko na Tulungan oh, nyo si Mike. Tulungan nyo si Mike. Uh, dito guys, so 138 tayo dito sa audience. So if you wanna be part of the structure, um, di ba? Uh, if you wanna volunteer, so mga magaling sa Discord dyan, ayan, so just message Mike sa Discord, no, Mike? Pati sa uh, page ng Data Engineering Pilipinas if you wanna volunteer sa pagtayo ng Discord na kasi at least yun guys you join the startup no consider that as joining a startup community din no yeah. uh, start from there ayan oh, all sorry. right yung isa ko sigurong map- mapaplug is yung ano yung data camp no so if you guys are learning data skills um even if yung plan nyo is to uh um have a web dev na career path no data skills are important so meron kaming uh, link for a data camp classroom you will have 
access to six months worth of ano data cam. So take mm. advantage saya. Actually, hindi din eh. Sa GitHub Student Pro, if you have GitHub Student Pro, guys, oh, yeah. six months din yung data cap doon. But if you're not a student anymore, guys, yan. So, fill up lang doon sa form. Nandito dyan yung Pilipinas. Nandun yun sa Facebook group nila, no? Uh, so, yeah. Take advantage of that. Join, you know, communities. Uh, if you're into web development, you can join us, di ba? If you want more specific, you can join more specific na groups like your JS Philippines, ayan. So, ayun. Um, yeah, so, grabe, Mike, inabot ng apat, apat na oras to this. <laughs> Dalawang oras ang ating talk, ayan, napapagod niya ito si Andoy, kakangiti. <laughs> ano masasabi mo, Andoy, sa experience mo ngayon as, ano, uh, It's very interesting then to see the questions that are being asked because there are common themes and normally as well the questions being asked are applicable to them it it the, it, it gives me a certain feel in terms of where people are one thing though that is common with all of these questions they i feel how i define career as career progression right? all of the questions none of the questions were about how can i stay where i am none the questions are about taking that next step into something more okay whether it's a better job uh, more information or or more skills it's always something more and though that at least for me that tells me that the people though that are listening to uh to this uh session uh want to grow and i think that's a good sign yeah and yun nga, kitang-kita sa ating audience count. Pagkatapos sila sumagot ng ano, feedback form, ay bumaban. <laughs> no? Yung ano yan, certificate people yan. <laughs> Pati sa Facebook Live. But anyway, so, I think it's time to uh, sign out na, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Ayan, so... so let, uh, let me start now. Thank you very much, Andoy, guys. Uh, for, ano for gracing us with your presence and thank you also to Jen and the uh, FWDP community for helping us host this event. <clears throat> okay. Guys, Data Engineering Pilipinas ang nag-spearhead, guys. Uh, and then, we're very happy, very much happy, Mike, that we accepted this, uh, you know, a partnership with you uh, and the community. So, expect more. Ang nakalagay is episode 1. No, so there will be more episodes and hopefully um you can have more collaborations with more communities then. So we're very much open to that. If you are yun nga guys, so uh one pen and uh sa audience natin if you have a school org na just makipag partner sa amin, ayan, kindly message us sa Facebook page or sa ating ano, email, no? Uh we're very much open to those opportunities. Saying yun nga mission namin is to um help no students and career shifters. No, so yun na if you're connected to a school org or any organization, kahit nga community, no, para mag- pederik kaya magipag partner sa data engineering Pilipinas, saya into and more communities. So yeah, so signing out here sa no, paano ba yun? Paano ba mag sign out? <laughs> paano mag sign out ang isang ano? Uh, sign sign. This is Jen signing out. Yan. Yeah. Okay, this is Jen signing out. Mike. Uh, Mike from <laughs> Data Engineering Pilipinas. And here's your Unlocking Your Future, Building a Career in PH Tech Startups, Episode 1 between the joint event of Data Engineering Pilipinas and Filipino Web Development Peers. Ayan, maraming salamat, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, you, Andoy. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Andoy. Thank you, Mike. And thank you to those who visited us. Ayan, so it's time to uh, eat your dinner then. Nine na rin, eh. Uh, we know.